All right, hi there, you two. Uh, today, I'm back home, and I thought I'd show off a little bit of my brass collection. These are two of my Sheridans and some accessories that you might find on a common Sheridan. So I thought I'd talk about them today and give a little bit of a review. Uh, up top here, we have a Sheridan P68 Direct Feed. Uh, this is a Sheridan PMI-1, and these are the accessories. So, I'll talk a little bit about the P68. P68 is an auto trigger enabled uh, brass gun. So with mine, unfortunately, it's in non-usable condition. I mean, I can use it for parts and whatnot, but the guy I bought it from, apparently, <laughs> it looks like he had it in a lake. Uh, he had it held together with wood screws. And yeah, it's just beat all the hell. It has a Cooper T bolt, um, a aftermarket pump handle, not exactly sure what kind of pump handle it is, but I can tell you that it's an aftermarket one. I was asked about it from somebody on M. Carter Brown. I'm not exactly sure what it is, though. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's kind of blurry in it. Oh. So, yeah, that's uh, my P68. So, it is auto trigger enabled, so basically uh, you can sit there and just hammer away. Uh, it has a direct feed on it, so. Let's see. It has a direct feed on it, so it's like most mar markers today where you can put either an elbow or a hopper on it. Uh, mine happens to be caved in, so I've never actually shot this marker. I bought it mainly for the parts. Uh, there you can see the Cooper T bolt, and you can see that it's held together with wood screws. Oh, too close, sorry. Wood screws, yay! Uh, I took most of the insides out, used them for another project and there's that pump handle. So let me just set this back down. Uh, it came with a nice uh, standard Sheridan grip. It has a nice uh, trigger shoe on it. Don't really use it. Uh, next up I'm going to talk about my PMI-1. PMI-1, mine is a direct feed. It's an older gun. Uh, I just got this stock in yesterday. I put it on as soon as I got it. Um, it's in. Let's zoom out. Okay, so this is my PMI-1. It's a pump. It's the stock class, so it has a 10-round feed on top. Actually, mine's about 11 because you can put one in the chamber. Um, they're rather heavy. Sheridan's, something people should know about Sheridan's is they're rather heavy. But in my opinion, that's a good thing. So, you know, it just lets you feel it, and it's very light. The stock itself is aluminum. It's extremely light. I thought when I saw it, I thought it was going to be heavier than all hell. It's very light. Um, on mine, I have Palmer's Battle Grips, or Sheridan Battle Grips. I'm not exactly sure who made them. They're extremely comfortable. Um, I also have a bicycle tire mod on it so that it just stays stable. Uh, they came on the P68, but since the previous owner had it you know, held together with wood screws, he kind of stripped out the holes. So that's mainly why I'm using that. Um, the stock connects to it, not by like today where we use just the ASA screw holes, but there's actually plates underneath that are on the handle that screw in. So, you know, it's nice and stable and it's nice. It's, it has the standard bolt um, to put balls in it. You just take the cap off and put the balls in, put them back in. It's more useful if you have a string running from here to your pump handle. That way you don't lose it, just because it's a pain to chase after. Um, aluminum pump handle. It's very smooth. I bought it from Longbeard on uh, M. Carter Brown, and he has the detents clip. So basically, I mean, if I let go of it, it'll pretty much pump itself, just because there's no resistance whatsoever. So you can get pretty, you can get pretty fast with it. Um, yeah. So I also have a little bit of a selection of uh, accessories. Fortunately, I don't have my KP2 with me. It's in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So, you know. Oh well. Uh, first up, we have an old rain cover, a Tasso rain cover. Um, I don't want to say the word what it is, but it, it keeps rain out of your barrel very well while also having some side benefits. Um, next to it is this. This is a PK45. It's basically back in the day since they didn't have hoppers yet, they would take this and put it on the stock class feed of their marker. 
and it would give them a couple extra balls. There were really long ones that, you know, held 20, 30 balls, and there were really short ones like this one. So basically, it just extends your feed. You can take a 10 round tube and just jam it in the hole. So, you know, that's that. Um, here we have a Palmer's UMB. Uh, basically, so you can mount stuff to the bottom, like an air tank or perhaps like a stock. So, use that for a project. This right here is a constant air adapter. It slides into the front of the PMI-1. And basically back in the day, because this thing has literally a billion threads, I mean, you know, just watching this, I mean, during a game, this isn't exactly the nicest thing to do. They do have extended feeds, or extended plugs, but, yeah. So you put your 12 gram in there, and close it off. But with the direct, uh, with the, um, constant air adapter, you just slide it in there, screw it on the top, and then look at that. You can, uh, hook up a tank. Fortunately, I don't have a tank small enough to show you, but it would just hook up right there. So there's that. Uh, I also have one last accessory I'd like to show, and that's an old uh, assault stock. The other one down there is an assault L stock. This is a wedge stock. Um, has tank brackets on it, so you can put a small tank in there. Just tighten them up, and then it's nice and stable. Um, hooks on to the plates. I don't happen to have them with me right now, but there's plates that you put underneath the grips, and you need an extended. Uh, screw for right here and then you use the regular screws for right here that come with it they're very small I only have one of them so that's why I don't really use this stock all too much um, thank you for watching if you have any questions about Sheridan guns you know feel free to ask me a really good source of information is mcarterbrown.com um, and I guess we should do a little overview uh, rain cover constant air adapter UMB PK45 Salt line stock, PMI-1, P68. Uh, I'll do shooting videos eventually, but right now, you know, I'm in college. Don't exactly go a lot, except with the college. So, anyway, have a good day. Uh, check out my other videos. I don't really have many up right now, but I'm planning on putting some up today. So, have a nice day. Bye-bye.